this video, we will demonstrate how to perform a fed batch feed in a PBS Mini 100 mL bioreactor containing HPSC aggregates in 3D suspension using Teaser AOF 3D. When culturing HPSCs using any of stem cells family of 3D HPSC media, it is recommended to use a fed batch feed approach on days one and two of culture. A 50% media change will be done on day three. The materials you will need to feed a PBS Mini 100 mL bioreactor are Teaser AOF feed media and a 50 mL Falcon waste tube. The first step when feeding is to remove an amount of spent media equal to the volume you wish to feed. This will maintain consistent fluid dynamics throughout the vessel. Working sterilely, Remove the lid of the bioreactor and place the lid face down. Aspirate an amount of spent media equal to the amount of media to be added. Since we are feeding a volume of 3 mils, we will remove 3 mils of spent media from the culture. Discard the spent media in a 50 mil falcon tube. While you're aspirating, keep the nozzle of the pipette at or near the liquid surface. This prevents aggregate loss. Next, we will add the feed. Refer to stem cells product manual for the feeding volumes. Using a 5 mil or 10 mil serological pipette, aspirate the 3 mils of feed volume and add it to the PBS 100 bioreactor. For our 100 mL culture in Teaser AOF 3D, we are using a feed volume of 30 microliters per mL. So for 100 mL of culture volume, we add 3 mL. When the feed has been added, return the cap to the bioreactor and return the bioreactor to the housing unit inside the incubator. We will demonstrate how to perform a 50% media change of a PBS Mini 100 mL culture of HPSC aggregates in 3D suspension using Teaser AOF 3D. A 50% media change is to be performed on day three of a four-day culture. Here are the materials required for a 50% media change. Stem cell Teaser AOF 3D basal media and warm to room temperature a waste bottle, and a large 37 micron filter to collect any aggregates in the spent media. Remove the filter from the package and place on top of the waste bottle. This will capture any aggregates in the spent media. Remove the cap of the PBS bioreactor vessel and place the cap face down. Next, aspirate 50 mL of spent media using a 50 mL serological pipette. Ensure the pipetter is set to slow speed. Pass the spent media through the filter and into the waste bottle. Any aggregates will be captured on the surface of the filter. Once all the media is discarded, flip the filter back onto the bioreactor vessel so that the aggregates collected on the filter are now on the bottom side. With a new serological pipette, aspirate 40 mils of fresh media and gently pass it through the filter.
inspect the bottom of the filter for any aggregates. If there's some aggregates sticking to the filter, aspirate the remaining 10 mils of fresh media and place the pipette flush with the filter and pass through. If there are no aggregates stuck to the filter, the pipette does not need to be flushed with the filter. Once finished, remove the filter and return the cap of the bioreactor vessel. The bioreactor can then be returned to the incubator.